If you're looking for which direction the early winds of change are blowing with health care reform, you'll have to come here to the Jersey Shore. I'm here at Ocean Medical Center. This hospital is engaging in a fascinating new trial in remote healthcare monitoring that's using some basic technologies to fundamentally change the relationship between healthcare providers and patients. Now, the key driver here are certain features of the healthcare legislation that are forcing local hospitals to be as efficient as they can be in providing health care. And they're trying a pilot program that is taking patients' weight and sending it back to the hospital for analysis. And how they do it is a fascinating example of simple technologies applied for a complex problem. They use an off-the-shelf wireless scale. But you can't send unsecure information like this because the regulations won't allow it. So they use a secure system from a company called MedApps to wirelessly send his weight back to the hospital, and suddenly the dynamic of patient care changes. Well, basically, every day I get the patient's weight on a daily basis, and I can tell at a glance the, um, the patient's trends 24 hours ago, 48 hours ago, a week ago. So I can kind of gauge to see how they are as far as retaining fluid because that's a classic symptom as far as detecting congestive heart failure. And we can see if the trend is, if the weight's slowly going up, the patient's definitely having some issues. The whole idea of this is to catch the fluid retention before the patient develops any symptoms, which will bring them to the ER. Well, I had a congestive heart failure and they took me to the hospital, treated me there, and then they contact me at the hospital if I would be interested in doing this pilot program. I said, sure. I thought it was great because it, it, if I gained two pounds or more, they would call me up and let me know that I had gained two pounds. And uh, it kept me constantly watching my diet, what I ate. Where a nurse going in the home can maybe do maybe see six or seven patients at the most in one day, I can review 20 in an hour. And Meridian Health is so confident that this is the future of healthcare that they've invested in a joint venture with a Swedish remote telemedicine firm called SIPAC. They've developed this remote health journal that allows patients to automatically collect basic information about pain level, how they feel during the course of the day that affects what type of pain meds they take. This is a vast improvement over written logs that can often obfuscate the information, and data that's collected here, and little pieces of Azex and chips that are located inside this card, are then accumulated and placed here on a web-based interface that allows doctors to get, again, a much more granular sense of the patient's health care. And this trial is opening up the door to many fascinating prototypes for new applications. Here's one that could work both for cholesterol and for diabetes care. We're talking about one that could work for blood oxygen. Here's one that could work for asthmatics. They would physically blow into a card like this to get a remote data set. You could even set it up where the cards talk to cell phones using so-called near-field communication. Now, could technologies like this set off a firestorm of debate over healthcare? Of course. There is the nagging concern of privacy. This is web-based data, after all. And then there is the question of reimbursements. It is not clear at this point how hospitals will be paid for this, how doctors will be paid for this, and how patients will put in for reimbursement. All these efforts could be scuttled by even small inefficiencies in the model. But the fascinating part is, just months after this legislation has been signed, there are powerful new technologies that are coming into practical use that were once inconceivable just last year. I'm Jonathan Bloom in central New Jersey for CNN Money.